Uh, greetings, Pisces, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. How are you? And I want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel and helping it grow. And to my new viewers, um, I hope this resonates. And if it does, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe um, right now. And this is you. Uh, satisfaction and passion. Well, Pisces, you could be having the wolf or the a hawk as this power totem animals are coming to you in dreams or maybe actually if you're lucky enough to live in the wilderness see these precious creatures and there is something coming to you that is bringing you together with some energy that's of the earth this growing and you're feeling that union and you're raising it up with satisfaction and passion and the number seven could be very important to you so that is the energy of the reading. And at the foundation, the number 40, you could be 40 or know someone who is. But you're moving into this moonlight. You see here, it, it's like we have the sun and now we have the moon. So there's a sacred mound. There's something about where the ancestors, um, dream time, going into that revelry where you receive a sacred um, energy, a sacred totem, a sacred stone. And this is saying um, to be watching for at the next full moon, a signs and synchronicities. And about this passion, about this uh, satisfaction within your relationship, just maybe satisfaction with it within your own body and joining the masculine and feminine sides of yourself and feeling that energy of the sun and the moon uh, equally balanced within you. And so that's uh, the beginning of what I have uh, for my Pisces. And let's get some um, clarity what it is that you're moving into, both the sun and the moon. And thank you, spirits, for being here and overseeing this reading for Pisces. And Thank you for bringing just clear, accurate, and resonating energy uh, for my Pisces. Thank you so much. And we'll take these cards to begin. <clears throat> this is you. Coming out, Pisces. The fool. Taking a leap of faith, starting as a beginner mind. Going on a journey. Life's a journey now for you. Maybe you're having this freedom right now, some time in your life to explore um, who you truly are, being authentic Pisces. Um, and that's exciting to emotionally just trust and to leap. And what challenges that is the Ten of Wands. Oh, well, what challenges you from leaping, of traveling, is some um, obligation, some responsibility, some burden you've been shouldering maybe for a decade, and you're ready uh, to close this out. Uh, the one and the zero, which is the beginning of the tarot, is uh, one. So you want to start over. And at the foundation, um, you had the six of pentacles. Well, maybe you've been given a generous gift um, of money or of time off, a sabbatical, to take this step away from this obligation, this burden. Um, and to feel like then you can have more reciprocity, generosity, give and take, time to rest and time to work, a time to give and time to receive. And that is what's coming. Um, and the Queen of Wands, wow, is here in the uh, past position. Well, you might want to look at your fellow uh, a card of <clears throat> um, cancer because uh, the Queen of Wands was in the same position. So there's this energy of uh, charisma, of fire. It uh, could be um, a er uh, fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're dealing with this energy of passion, of going after an um, intuition. She's very psychic. And maybe that's energy because she's looking at the fool. See how she's looking directly at the fool? as saying that, yes, this idea... Um, that I had that was sparked in the recent past, you're taking that leap of faith toward it. And then you got the Eight of Wands, Pisces, saying go for it. You've got the green light. A lot of communication is coming in 
quickly. This energy is culminating like a passion and you pull the bow out and boom, it all goes flying. And it's flying toward um, uh, some, a lot of wealth and generosity and energy here. And you've got the Nine of Cups. Well, it's going to bring you satisfaction, contentment, um, happiness, bliss, uh, enjoyment. And this is satisfaction and passion. So this is what the Nine of Cups is bringing in. And you see this leap of faith, this new beginning is bringing satisfaction and passion. And you're going to go for it quickly. And it's going to be fulfilling, a wish come true that you can share with others and celebrate. An equal reciprocity, give and take comes, the, the flow is easy, ease and grace. And uh, it's, um, the environment is influencing you through the emotions of this receptive queen. Um, whether you're a man or a woman, it's that ability to receive and nurture your emotions. And that's what's coming in from your environment. You've got these two queens of a passion and of feeling, desire. Um, another kind of intuition that comes almost from the dream, that inner knowing. And that's going to bring uh, that um, happiness, that wish fulfillment is coming and being influenced in a positive way. Uh, through this queen, nurturing energy. And then the empress is as your hope and fear, Pisces. Uh, you hope and fear that you will, whatever this leap of faith that you have um, taken, uh, that you will nurture this energy and be productive, uh, be beautiful, be able to give and receive love. I have a lot of passion, I grow this energy, this satisfaction and passion. Maybe it could be like a marriage or a union coming together. Oh, very creative, because all of these wands are very creative energy. And you're, it's going to make you very happy to sit on that throne of, of productivity. Could be uh, giving um, birth, pregnancy. Because what is the advice is the Five of Cups will, is to look at any place um, in your life um, right now, Pisces, that you have let a disappointment in love in the past hold you back, that you've been disappointed, grieving, sad about it. Uh, <clears throat> could be a depressed, a going over and kind of this chronic depression uh, that is coming up. But the advice is to really look at that to honor that disappointment and to take up the opportunity that you do have with this wish fulfillment and receive it and nurture that love that is coming. Because the Empress is beautiful and she's loving. She's everything of the material world that's beautiful and productive and um, generous and grows and productive and creative. And uh, don't, she's looking back to the Five of Cups, so don't let any a situation that has, I can't even pick it up, this, that has left you Pisces feeling in the doldrums um, uh, emotionally, like sad, loss, grief, um, disappointing energy in the relationships, because uh, you're looking to that, but you're going to heal because you're taking a new step, a leap of faith uh, toward or whatever this burden is, you're putting it down and taking on a generosity and um, equal give and take. And then the queen recently in the past had this insight to go quickly toward uh, this passion, this opportunity where your energy wanted to flow. And you took your black cat, that psychic energy to move it uh, toward your wish. And it came true. Um, you are leaping, a new beginning is happening, and it's being a very nurturing, and it's waking up that inner feeling that you want to develop um, to become this empress who can give and receive love um, and beauty and creative, nurturing others to grow and to heal anything, uh, Pisces, that has uh, disappointed you because you're going to have satisfaction um, and passion coming. And also, you need to go to the sacred mound and maybe pray and release under the full moon any disappointments, any heartbreaks, any loss. 
And that's what I have for my Pisces. And you know I love you, and we're in this interconnected field of learning and growing uh, to really wish and to receive that, a gift, and to uh, grow through this experience. And we're in this interconnected field of the sacred space where this a reading uh, resonates and vibrations are coming to you wherever you are out there. And uh, so it is. And please subscribe uh, if you like the way I read. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.